4.45 a.m. The sun's coming up now. 4.55 in the morning. Look at that. My batteries are nice and flat, but it's charging at eight watts. Not bad for 1,700 watts of panels on that inverter. 6,000 watts on that one, doing nothing. And under load, I'm drawing uh, 252 watts. 253 watts of power off grid. And the battery voltage under load is 23.35 volts. But that, that's my off grid system. Have a look at my other videos. That is not the reason for this video this morning. Now, I want to use a PIP2424 MSX. I've already got one. I've got one on my off-grid setup. Now, the way I believe these works, and I haven't actually seen it yet, and I've only seen a picture. Um, the way I think they work is you put power in and then power out. So this charges the batteries and discharges the batteries. The kicker is with the PIP 2424 MSX, the PIP, it's got solar in, so it goes solar goes into the unit and then the charge and discharge cables are the same cable coming out of, out of the PIP. So do I put the solar directly into this or do I I can't even put the pip directly into the batteries because if I put the pip directly in the batteries it'll charge that way if I I'm lost any ideas YouTube the other item I could go is to select a 24 volt electronics unit but instead of a thousand dollars it's four thousand five hundred plus delivery that'd be cool but not practical and certainly not in the spirit of what I'm trying to do I could guess I could go Jehu's way and not use a BMS but I really don't think that's an option unless I do a BMS once a week or something like that with an external charger. Hmm, that's a thought. What if Posty comes today? The Posty might come today and deliver this. If Posty comes and delivers this, I can have a look at it and go, right, what's going to happen? If you've got any ideas, bloody bright YouTube land, let me know.